Hello everybody out there in the Frontline Universe and welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Mayhem. And in this video, I will be introducing the second of three boxes I am moving over from my channel right here to the Mayhem. First box we did was Retro Gaming Treasure, a box filled with old awesome games for your retro consoles or your retro um, playable consoles, you know, like the retro. Retcon 3. This awesome box right here. This awesome box is the Indie Box. You can find them at, at Indie Box. Or you can go to IndieBox.com, which the link will be in the description below. And what Indie Box is, is, that's two is's, is, uh, an Indie Box, uh, this box sends you once a month a really awesome surprise. Now, the awesome surprise is not within the Indie Box itself but within the indie game within and what indie box is is basically you get an indie game which right here you guys can see uh, let me actually take the plastic off real quick so you guys can see it better because there's a glare uh, indie box basically is an independent game that you can play on your computer it's a computer game but the extras don't come in the actual indie box they come with the game now indie box usually announces what indie game they are going to be releasing what they don't announce are the extras that come with it and also uh, lately now I want to cover this uh, they also give you inside the box uh, a code which you can't see but they give you a code so let's say you didn't want to take the plastic off of this box Let's say you wanted to keep the box in mint condition. You can. And if you have a Steam account, well, you could just put in the code and you get the game uh, without having to worry about taking it out of the box or using the USB. The games are on USBs, by the way. But if you want to just download the game from Steam, you could do that and you could keep this box in wonderful order. Recently, they were doing a contest where you could win prizes. Now they've got a new little sheet. And it says, treat yourself. And underneath the treat yourself is a pack of cards. Now, last month we got a pack of cards. This month we're getting a pack of cards. Now, what we do on this with this box is, as you guys can see, I'm not in front of the camera. I have the camera facing the table. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually empty this box of all of its contents, which you guys saw that one of the things already, I hit the camera, was an awesome uh, collectible figure, a figurine. Uh, we're going to put the box over here so you guys could see. I'm actually going to close up the indie box so you guys can see the logo and the box itself right here. We're going to move the camera a wee bit forward now. I wanted to introduce the box to you guys. We're going to look down a little bit more so you guys can see the table. Now, we're going to open this pack first because this has nothing to do with the game. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pre-check the cards because one card in here has a special Steam code for the game that we have here and I believe this is the uh, oh no they, they all these both have steam codes to them but we're gonna show the front of the cards okay so last time we got um, a piece to a puzzle here's another piece to that puzzle so you get all the pieces and then you make a picture so we're gonna save that and put it with the other one we've got from Armello we got Brune this is a game we got I believe a couple of months ago. So uh, a card from Armello. From Galaxy Z, which I believe we got from this uh, well, bleh, sorry. From this box, we have Atac, who is a character from Galaxy Z. From Star Mazer DSP, I believe. We got DSP F Squadron. Um, which in back of here, in back of this card, you get a exclusive code. Uh, for is it for the game? Best, yes, this is actually a code um, to get the game. Oh, a pre-release demo, exclusive pre-release demo, which um, I don't know. Uh, we might try it out. And then you've got Planet Driver. Driver. This is the front of the card, and in back of this card, you get a free, a full game Steam download. So you can download Planet Driver on Steam for free and the code is behind that card so we'll probably redeem those later 
Armello, there's um, nothing behind it. It just says the indie box. Same thing with the um, the the um, one from this game and the puzzle piece. So those are the extras you get with just the box. Now you get with this, as always, you get a. Um, well, usually there's a rundown. I guess they didn't add the rundown. There's usually a magazine that they um, throw into the mix. I guess we didn't get a magazine this time. We get a really nice, awesome car background, which I'll put here. Um, usually this comes with a booklet, which I'm actually surprised it didn't come with a booklet this time, which ran down all of the items that are in the box. So I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't do it this time. But anyway, unless it's in the back of the box. Mm, nope. Nope, nope. There's nothing left in the box, correct? Nothing left in the box. Okay. Well, this is the first time they did. Well, anyway, one downside to this, and I'm already going to I'm gonna throw it out there, is the sound. All right. Every game that you get, you get the game, obviously. You get what most games don't give you anymore, which is an instruction manual, which it says survival manual, but basically it's an instruction manual. And this is what games lack lately is an instruction manual. So you get the instruction manual. Um, we'll show you the game in a moment. You always get the game. And you always get a soundtrack. Now, the problem I have with this game is the soundtrack is not a CD. The soundtrack is actually a... Um, I'm trying to open it to show you guys. Ah, finally, there we go. The soundtrack this time is stuck in its box. The soundtrack this time is actually an audio cassette. I'm... Not a fan of audio cassettes just for the simple fact that now, you know, you can't download it on your computer. You can't really do much. But I guess because this is an older game or it has an older game feel, they, they wanted to go with the cassette. So once in a great while, it's okay. So uh, I'm a little disappointed, though, that it's not a CD. And what I really love about the game, which I'm going to show you guys the game now, is the USB now is made of an icon from the game. So here's the game. You just plug it into your USB and then... Um, you got the game, but then when you don't want to play the game, when you want to display it, you can display it just like this, which I really like a lot. Also, you always get two things. You get a sticker for your indie box that says indie box with the theme of the box, which this time it's Galac uh, Galaxy. Um, and then you also get a sticker for the game itself, which is really cool. I like the... Um, the robot. It reminds me a little bit of. Um, all right, we're gonna bring the camera a little down now because of that. It reminds me a little bit of. Um, what do you call? It? Oh, geez, Gundam Wing. And then uh, we have a really. Oh, I shouldn't have put the camera so close. We got a really awesome poster, which I'm gonna have to show it. We'll back the camera up to show you guys. The poster is really nice. You get all the characters from the game. The robot, and then it says Galaxy Z. Really cool poster. I'm going to fold that up and leave it here. So you get a poster, which is really cool. Really nice size poster. And then I guess the main attraction is this guy right here, which you get actually a, a uh, collectible figurine. So we're going to uh, put this figurine on his stand. So we're going to put the stand here. I believe. Yep, figurine comes right out. So we're going to assemble Mr. Figurine onto said stand, like so. He has a oh, tape in. sword that goes right here. If we could fit it in his hand. There you go. Nice. So there's a sword. And then we have this right here, which looks like a ship that pegs into... Hmm, that pegs into this right here. And then do we put the ship underneath him or do we put the ship facing the other way? How do we do this? Do we put the ship underneath him? No, it won't work that way. We put the ship first. Maybe we're supposed to put the ship first. Or we're supposed to put the ship sideways. And then put him in front of the ship like that. I'm not sure. I don't have instructions, so I couldn't tell you if I'm right or wrong. But I would guess it goes something like this. 
So you get like the ship and the and the figure, and then there's also this clip, which I have no idea what this clip is used for. Interesting. So clip. I wouldn't think I'm gonna attempt it, but I don't unless maybe you could put the ship if you want to have the ship, or you could put the robot if you want the robot. Because yeah, his legs don't. Well, they sort of do, but. Yeah, no, that looks too sloppy. So I guess the ship is supposed to be sideways, and Mr. Robot is supposed to be standing. So, okay. So there you go. So that is your indie box for the month. Um, first and foremost, I'm a little disappointed that there's no manual. I don't know if it was an accident. Or maybe <clears throat> my box is weird and it didn't come with one. But uh, I did like having the newsletter from IndieBox. Uh, maybe they made a post about it. I'm not sure at this time. But um, yeah, the stickers, the instruction manual, as always. And it's really awesome that the games actually come with instruction manuals. Downside to the cassette is who I really don't listen to cassettes anymore. So it's kind of uh, a letdown that the soundtrack isn't on a CD. The game, however, looks awesome. I love the um, the USB, the special USBs they do for it. The exclusive figurine, really nice and really detailed. Love that. Like the ship that goes behind it and all. So that's really cool. The poster's really nice as well. And that's about it. I'm not too sure what this clip is for. Maybe maybe it's for the card. Let's let's pretend. Uh, I know somebody's gonna shoot me in the head for doing this because it's probably not what it's for. But um, we're going to pretend that it's um, it's for the card, and we could just like put the card like this. There you go. Yeah. No, that's definitely not for the card. But for whatever it's for, it's for. Uh, honestly, I really like the indie box. I've always liked the indie box. It's never disappointed. The collectibles that come with each and every game are awesome. My only letdown for this box is the fact that it was a cassette and not a CD. But again, something that I can ignore for the sake of... I'm trying to get everything in frame and it's so hard. There we go. Uh, I really liked it. The poster's really nice. The stickers are nice. Cassette let down a little bit because i rather a CD. The USB, awesome. And the figurine, which obviously is the spotlight of this box, is the spotlight so when i say go out and get the indie box absolutely indie box if you go back on my channel dark avenger c86 you will see that we've been doing indie box now for uh this is the seventh box we've received and zero boxes have not um made us happy we have the indie box has been seven for seven we have liked and enjoyed each and every one of the indie boxes that we've been getting. The games are awesome. I believe this is, no, yeah, it is the seventh box. We got one at New York Comic Con as well that we didn't count, but we have eight boxes all together, and they have not disappointed yet. Seven boxes in, we are yet to have been disappointed by anything, and honestly, even though it's a cassette, it doesn't ruin the game. The game itself looks awesome. I did look up the game. Um, looks really great. I'm really excited. The, the figure will look great on the shelf. The stickers are always nice to have to put around. The new addition of these cards with the game are really nice. I hope they bring the contest back, though. It's always fun to have contests. But if they don't, that's okay, too. I would definitely say go out. Link in the description below, guys. Give IndieBox a try. They are amazing. And if you play computer games, trust me on this, okay? Trust me. I've, stirred, I've steered zero people wrong in my lifetime on YouTube. And I've said, told people that like retro games to do retro gaming treasure. Everybody was so happy. I recommend it. Guys, if you like computer games and you like playing indie games, Indie Box is for you. And not only that, but you get, with this game, you also get a full download of Planet Driver with this card. And you get a free demo of DSP download as well. Both from Steam, though. So you have to have Steam. So dude, that is an amazing game deal you just got two games and a demo for a game that's coming out for the price of one it is 25 dollars i believe now um but well worth it they brought up the price a little bit to add better 
um, extras to their games. <clears throat> and I 100% um, back Indie Box. They are an amazing box, and they have really great games. And I hope they continue to release really great stuff. They've already, I think, uh, mentioned the box for this month. Go check them out and let us know what you guys think. I've gone on way too long for an intro, so this is the Indie Box. Next time, we'll just get right into the game. Uh, there is still one more box coming, guys, and uh, that should be coming by the end of this week. And then we will have all of the Mystery Box Mayhem boxes for this um, for the additions. Unfortunately, we missed out on the DC box for um, next month. We will be getting DC in two months instead. But till then... Thank you guys so much for sticking here. Check out ComicFrontline.com. We are your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. Link in the description below if you'd like to check out IndieBox. Also, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, hopefully you will subscribe. This way we're in your sub box and you will not miss out on a single video because, guys, we are posting daily. Not monthly, not weekly, not bi-weekly, not every three days, but daily. And you guys definitely don't want to miss out on a single video because we put our heart and souls in our videos because we love making videos for you guys and showing you guys the latest subscription boxes, the latest comics, the latest collectibles, and just the latest stuff in general that's out there. So till next time, everybody, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys really soon in the next video.